The 28-year-old Russian takes on the 28-year-old Britt Lerone Murphy, who makes his UFC debut. Murphy taller by an inch. But look at the reach advantage. Five and a half inches for the newcomer, Lerone Murphy. All right, now for the introductions. Back inside to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, an undefeated mixed martial artist holding a perfect professional record. Eight wins, no losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 146 pounds. Fighting out of Manchester, England, the road the miracle Murphy. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a striker, only a professional record, 18 wins, 4 losses. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 146 pounds, fighting out of Grozny, Chechen Republic, Russia, Zubera, Warrior, Tatsuga. And then the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dees. The veteran referee, Herb Dean. The great Carly Baker. Thank you, Carly. Round one of a possible three here in the 145-pound division. This fight clock is brought to you by Toyo Tires, the official tire of the UFC. So who got is in white. The Rome Murphy in red. Murphy got good free flow and movement. I'd say the advantage definitely is the fact that Zibara ha has basically twice the amount of fights. As Laurel Murphy, so will he be able to use those tactics? But that low kick will be there, as he like, as Tukogov, like Tukugov, excuse me, likes to switch his stance and stay silent. See how his knees turned in, that low kick will be there for him. It's crazy to think Tukugov's last fight at UFC 198 it was the first fight of the night in Curitiba against Senato Moicano. And certainly we've seen Moicano gone on to, go on to some real UFC success, but it's a long layoff for Tukugov. I've got to imagine there's some different emotions here, given all the pressure that is on him tonight. Loading up on that right hand, Murphy able to evade. Murphy trains under Carl Prince at the All Powers Gym in Stockport, England. Has trained with Amir Khan in the past. He got good for that right hand early. When Murphy switches to southpaw, but he looks good. It's a good read. Murphy needs to stay busy. Be first, keep the movement going. Oh, he's clipped. The jab, and he's hurt. A big right hand. Murphy's not out yet, but he's got the body lock, and he's on him. And he's punching him heavy up against the fence. Oh, Murphy's nearly in on his feet here. Murphy watching the action closely right in front of us. And now to who got bumps him on his rear end, trying to mount him, unable to do so. Murphy showing some heart here. In a lot of trouble early. Tahugov has the legs, so that Murphy's square against the fence. Murphy doing the right thing, Clinch, clinching the arms, and this really gives him a chance to, to get his head together right now if he gets the fence. Well, other than Khabib Nurmagomedov at the weigh-in, loudest ovation was reserved for this man, Tahugov, and crowd getting behind him early in this one to the surprise of no one. Definitely the favorite over on this side is Tahugov. <laughs> and Murphy, weathering that big punch is pretty impressive because he, he ate that pretty hard. It put him down. Needs some huge shots on his way up on the fence, too. Tahugov is controlling that bottom leg, and you see him reaching for the hands. And well, Murphy. Murphy getting his feet well. He's got that overhook. He needs to get his head in there. Nice trip. That's a hook off. in the half guard position with that pressure on the, on the shoulders as you see it Murphy that's going to keep him flat on the mat Murphy's going to want to get that leg out of there you see him putting those, getting those legs involved that's what he's going to want to do and he's got to get inside underneath the shoulders of Tahugov he's going to get up smart move by Tahugov to get him to the middle of the mat this is where he can't use the fence to get up and it really forces the grappler here on the side well, Murphy has weathered part of the early storm, but Tahugov keeps coming here. 
90 seconds to go round one. And who knows, maybe that's what Earl Murphy needed to wake up a little. I mean, hopefully not. You don't want to usually eat a big shot right, like right. that to have to wake up, but he now knows I got to keep my, my wits about me on my feet. Now he's just got to get a, get away from Zahubov. I mean, he's on him right now. So Zahubov handed Douglas Silva to Andrade, his first pro loss in what was his UFC debut in 2014. Of course, has fought just three times since in the ensuing five years. Nice right hand there from Tahuga. Now it's causing Murphy issues from getting up because he's over the top of the arms of, to of Tahuga instead of cutting underneath the, the neck and the shoulders of Tahuga for underhooks and such. So now he'll take, like to take the back. Doesn't give it. Stays in the guard position. Looking to get to the fence. Use the fence to get up. But all of these Russian fighters are so good on the fence at keeping you there. They hook those legs up as you see. They like to scoop them up with their legs as you see the Magomedov do so well. And they all cross train with each other so they're very similar in these grappling techniques like this. It's very dominant here. So who got a master of sports in hand-to-hand -hand combat and combat sambo. The green economy from Moscow National University. So a huge start for the 4-1 to one favorite. To Barrett, who got late sub attack from Murphy. So who got is out. Sit. We're in the UFC, bro. That's the first round. All right. That's the first round. Listen, to, listen up. Breathe. Breathe. How are you going to see that? Breathe. Breathe for me again. Listen, bro. All those things you were, you were working, he's backing off of the first step. You gotta go, you gotta go again. When you, he's only working when you go backwards. When you're on the front foot, he's not working. So whenever you're fainting, he goes backwards, then you go again. Keep him at the range of the jab. Keep, and try and draw him out, L. When you get him to draw him out, then you're catching him on the way in. But don't let, allow him in. Keep that jab. Okay? Okay? You feel good? Yeah. You're doing good, okay? I want you to continue doing the same thing for me, okay? Okay? The UFC 242 Behind prelims on ESPN Plus are presented by Behind Modelo. The Behind the black. Let's fight. Round two here. Zubera to Hugob in white. Lerone Murphy in red. Double jab lands. Just gotta watch that right hand to Hugo. That's his big that one right there. It's coming close again. And that's the one that clipped Earl Murphy early. He needs to watch out for that right hand. Nice kick there by Leroy Murphy. Following up with a left hand. You see the corner dying for some forward pressure out of their pupil. Yeah, they're doing the right thing in their first. And Tahulov is in on, on his heels, he's not landing as much, he's in, he's just dodging. That's what they want to keep him doing, they want to keep Tahulov on the heels, because then he doesn't have that big right hand. Nice kick there by Murphy. Twice now underneath that right elbow of Zubera Tahulov. He looks a little bit woke up, and when he's first, Earl Murphy does well. When he waits on Tahulov, that's when Tahulov really gets off and starts landing. There, nice right hand lands behind the double jab. Good uppercut for Tahuga off there. These guys are scrapping now. Nice timely. Leg. Timely double leg takedown for Zubera Tahuga. And this is really how the whole round went in the first. Is Tahuga got the takedown. Murphy just couldn't get away. Let's see if he can come up with an answer now. In the second round for getting away. Tugov with so much control. Well, you see Tugov just draped with sweat. The heat is definitely a factor here tonight. We've been on the equator in places like Fort Deleza. But you see the current weather, 95 degrees. Feels like 125 in here. And now Murphy working on a He's submission. On that. that is deep. That is deep, ladies and gentlemen. That is tight. It's not all the way in, but great job. And he gets right back to the single. Put Murphy on his butt. So perhaps some of that perspiration and moisture helping Zubera to Hugov get out of that choke. He did the right thing, turned into his back, actually. It was very good defense on his part. 
a lot of times you don't want to turn your back because you feel like you're giving up the position. But when you're in a choke like that, you have to. And he did the right thing, spun through. Now he's on Murphy. And, you know, Murphy doing the right thing, trying to get to his feet and create separation. But Jahugov looks strong here. And to wrap up that thought on the heat, we've had winners, Bilal Muhammad and Don Madge, go backstage and talk again. about the heat in this arena. And again, Tahugov able to spin out. And that goes in. Every time he goes for that guillotine, he commits to it. And it gets in deep, but the defense is simply to spin through, and then you're on your butt after you attempt the guillotine. Maybe if I talk about the weather again, he'll sink in another <laughs> show. Well, I'll tell you what, it is hot, John. It is a factor. I mean, I haven't stopped sweating since I stepped foot off the plane here. Right. And these guys are losing a lot of water. You're in the back. You're warming up. You're losing water. If you don't stay hydrated in the back, you might feel it in here and not realize it. And I'm going to say that for sure Tahugov is definitely feeling the heat right now. But still, pressuring, keeping the pace, keeping it going. And Jerome Murphy's also in this fight. He is not out of this at all. Murphy's got a very good guillotine, a blue belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. He has yet to have a pro win by submission. He's got a pressure and cut off to Hugoff, and this pressure is going to be the key for Murphy moving forward. Nice right hand. Nice uppercut lands for Murphy. It's amazing to think where Murphy is in this fight now relative to the first minute of it. I was curious to see because he almost looked a little bit slow and asleep in the very first round, and after getting clipped, he, he pretty much woke up, it looks like. He's being first now. He's landing big shots. Nice kicks upstairs for Murphy. He's woke up and he's throwing. Watch the takedown. That's been the problem the entire fight. These takedowns continue to be a problem for him if he doesn't move his feet. Little mistakes here are causing these takedowns. He's not wizarding, which is the overhook when Tahugov is on that single leg isn't there. And really, just with that, he can keep, the, keep Tahugov off of him. But you can tell that Tuhugov just has the, the experience in the grappling by a lot. 80% for Tuhugov on his five takedown attempts thus far. And certainly a huge way for him to try to close out this second round. A round in which Murphy has had a lot of shining moments. In the striking, it's all Murphy when he can keep him moving, keep him moving back. But when he gets to grappling, it's all Tuhugov. Don't give away for a fight, bro. Sit down, bro. He's, 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 he's give all he's got here. Listen to me. Breathe. 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 A double jab, up and down yeah. with a jab, up and down. Yeah. He's exiting to the over the, the most important and the wizard. They're the ones we focus on no matter yeah. what. You don't give them up no matter yeah. what. Yeah. Use the jab, yeah. keep him at the range, yeah. and everything will come behind yeah. that. He's exiting to the over and set it up. Don't force this. it. Don't force right, it. Right, let's go. Let's go. Guy, Lerone Murphy. Yeah, let's go. Lerone Murphy on six. Round three is brought to you by P3, the official protein snack of the UFC. And many of you were in commercial break and missed just a loud, inspired Lerone Murphy corner. Clearly, they understand the opportunity that is in front of them here tonight. Doctor came in to check on Zubera to Hugob. But the action continues here. But they, they really understand what is in front of their fighter here on this final. We have a fight, ladies and gentlemen. They are putting it on Ken Musa. Yelling at Lerone Murphy, you got this. They're telling him to double jab, and then Zahugov is exiting on the power right hand side. So keep double jabbing until he exits and land that big shot. But the takedowns are what really are causing the issues. It's breaking the rhythm of Lerone Murphy, and he's got to be able to stop those in this round if he's going to be able to land a big shot. Because I think he might be down two to nothing. Another right hand land. That southpaw stance, that left high kick would be that there it is. And there's the takedown attempt. And of course, every time Murphy closes that distance, he runs the risk of Tahugov taking him down. Looked like a groin strike there, but the action continues. Won't stop unless the ref stops you. 
That's a good lead. There's the shot through the jab. Stuff's to take down. First stuff take down by Lynn Murphy. And they are begging him to move his feet. One minute gone by here, round three. That's why they're calling for the double jab, because it keeps him from getting his hips, and it doesn't keeps him from being square, which gives the double leg. With the double jab, the Hulak generally only has a single, and that's easier to defend than the double leg. Fakes low and goes high with the head kick. Just misses. Nice shot by so got to raise that right hand. Looked like Murphy might have had a window. He's got the wizard here. He's going over the top. Now, you see how he's got that left arm over the top of the arm? That's where he needs to keep it. When he reaches that left arm to the other side, that's where he gets taken down. Hopefully he doesn't make that mistake for himself again. Otherwise, he'll end up on his butt, where Zahugov wants him. You saw Zahugov take a little breather and then wait for his moment to explode. See how he's got the hand off the, off the arm now? That's going to be a problem where he get taken down for Murphy. He needs to get, nope, he needs to not reach over the top like he's doing. He needs to keep the, that left arm on the other side of his other arm. Otherwise, he's going to get single leg and dump to his butt. A couple nice Travis Brown style elbows there out of Lerone Murphy. Herb Dean watching the action closely here. Work. Tahugov wants Tahugov twice to work, and he works. But he's unable to take Murphy down. Murphy keeping the pressure right away. He knows Tahugov wants that takedown. And the pressure is building. He needs to land a big shot. Tahugov bit on Murphy faint there a moment ago. He checks the clock. It says 2.14. Nicely done there by Zubera. And that could be huge. Although he could very well have two rounds in the book already. Two minutes now to go. Murphy looked for the high kick, and he ended up going to the body. A little inexperienced there. That's the, re that's the, that's the lack of experience in, the, in that kick choice. But he's still in this fight if he can get away. Right here, though, this is where Tahugov wants to win. If he stays on top and just blankets Jerome Murphy, he can burn the clock and probably get the decision here. Big deep breaths from Lerone Murphy. Trying to make some of these elbows count off of his back. So who got doing a nice job controlling the hips to prevent an escape. Murphy scoots out. Not the, all the way. In the open mat, so who got managing the grappling by a lot, as you're seeing here. I mean, he's happy to just squeeze this and work. stay because he looks tired. You need to work. I'll stay if you want. I don't know if the weight cut was tough, tough for Tahugov, if it's the pressure, if it's the wrestling that he's been using, but he looks tired, and Lerone Murphy just doesn't have the answer for the grappling right here. Getting to the fence is his best bet if you're Murphy. This is where he's got the most defense, but he's only got a minute that he's got to hold on. Work! So Hugov has really had to dig deep from a cardio standpoint to stay offensive here late in this fight. Being spurned on by a lot of Octagon side supporters here. Murphy's showing up heavy out here in Tahugov's hometown, really putting on a show, making it a great fight. This was not one-sided at all, but that grappling is really the difference maker. Tahugov's grappling is just good. pretty much dominated the control aspect of this fight. But on the feet, it's been back and forth, and mostly they're on Murphy. Work. Oh, knee there for Murphy. Hard to see the extent to which it landed. He's got and there's the end of the fight. fight. Outstanding showcase for the UFC featherweight division. Zubera Tahugov landed six of his ten takedown attempts. Certainly a big part of the narrative in this fight. Murphy, though, undeniably had his moments. Here's some replays for you. Right here, you see Tahugov with the big left hook. Puts Lerone Murphy down in the first, and then he's able to control him the rest of that round. But right here, this right hand kept landing for Murphy. Wasn't able to put him down, but he landed a lot of left kicks, left hands. But the control of Tahugov really got him through this fight when he gets those takedowns. A lot of time spent on the mat. That body kick. Hurting Tuga probably is part of the reason he got tired too, but when he went for it there, Tuga was able to time a takedown and really control every time he got one.
Our crowd enjoyed those 15 minutes. We'll get you the scorecards and that official decision after this as we continue live from Abu Dhabi. Tick, tick, 36 minutes and counting now until we get over to pay-per-view UFC 242, Khabib versus Poirier. This is a special early afternoon start time on the east coast of the U.S., early a.m. on the west coast. We have two lightweight champions at present. We will have one at the end of the night as Khabib Nurmagomedov puts his undisputed title on the line against Dustin Poirier. All right, now for the fight decision. Brought to you by DAV, keeping the promise to America's veterans. Bruce Buffer now with that official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Howie Boo scores the contest 29-28, Murphy. Clemens Werner scores it 29-28, Tukugov. And David Lethaby scores the contest 28-28, this fight is declared a split draw. All right, Joey, split draw, Dominic Cruz, much to your surprise. You, you thought Zubair and Tugov did enough to get the nod tonight? No, I, I don't. I'm just, it's just shocking because actually it's pretty crazy. It's six takedowns to zero Murphy, but Murphy landed 80 of 145 and most of the significant strikes, so I'm not opposed to a draw. But man, what a fight. He showed up in the hometown of Satukov, and these guys let it all hang out. Beautiful fight. These guys gave us show. Can't wait to see Lerone Murphy come back in Zuku. 